Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Raw Wayne on Destiny 2 Beta, and um, I've been looking on uh, on the internet of, uh, about uh, some videos, or uh, some videos about uh, what you get with each of the garden classes, and uh, I, I want to show you what do you get uh, when you make a warlock, when you make a hunter, or when you make a titan. You get different sets of guns with each one of these classes and you get two subclasses with each so I'm gonna show you right now let's start with the warlock and um in order to um to get into the crucible and into the strikes to get into this you have to complete the homecoming mission so um you get one exotic with each one of your characters so when you uh, make a warlock you get the void walker and the dump like the new subclass Right, and uh, for guns, you get this pulse rifle. This is the night shade. This is the one you get. A tactical mag, kill clip, red dot, and rough scope. You can change this as you will. Right, then you get an auto rifle, scout lock. Tactical mag, high caliber rounds, and under pressure. There's a uh, new perk, system for stability and accuracy. The magazine gets lower. Um, and uh, hand cannon for devils. This is a pretty standard hand cannon. It's a drop mag, standard mag, and explosive payload. It's like explosive rounds. You get uh, these three. So three I got so far with the warlock, and um, the in the second slot is the special. It used to be special. It's now energy weapons. So it's kinetic weapons, energy weapons, and power weapons. For the energy weapons, you get a pulse rifle. This you get a pulse rifle here, and you get a pulse rifle here. It's a uh, pretty, pretty um close archetype. Each one of them, middle impact high range, and you get a scar rifle, you get a sidearm, and this is a new kind of uh, gun. It is a static one, the stop machine gun. It's a Rex Runner. Check it out. What you get with this, uh, um, it's an uh, art conductor. This this one works uh, something like the um, the, um, the one in Destiny One, the the one with the arc that has changed arc and uh, call over your enemies, I don't remember the name right now. But um you get this um these perks, arrowhead barrel. You can't change any of these as you can see. It's probably because of this beta, extended mag, superconductor, shoot fire has a chance to become chain lining and return ammo. And short action stock is this weapon especially easy to grip. And I guess you get uh, increased handling speed. Uh, I have to say, uh, I have been testing this uh, new submachine guns, and this one is the one that with the uh, most uh, stability. Most of them just are really hard to um to handle. You'll see. And uh, up this you get a sidearm. This is a sidearm. Uh, works pretty much like in Destiny 1. You get them um, scout rifle and these uh, new submachine guns. For heavies, for heavy you get the fusion rifle. It works uh, exactly as a regular fusion rifle. Some people say that it works like a um, like sleeper simulant. Sleeper simulant? No, it's not. It just works as a regular fusion rifle. Yeah, liquid cold says battery is lower building charge for higher damage. We had a perk like this in Destiny 1. Accelerate the calls and enhance battery. Increase magazine size. Rampant. I go better with this one. But uh, you can barely use this kind of gun, so it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, can't a grenade launcher. You get a grenade launcher with each, with each character. I mean, you get a uh, 
I don't remember if it's the same yet. We, we will see. But you get one. Uh, you know, launch it with a uh, with a warlock, with a hunter, and with a tiger. So this is what pretty much what you get uh, with uh, with this uh, with this class. You get one of each. This um, uh, armor stuff. And and the ship. The ship is also different. The ship and the emblem is also different. So this is the ship you got from the warlock. So let's switch. Let's switch to the uh, let's switch to the time. So you can see what you get with the time. With the Titan, you get two um, subclasses. You get the, uh, the Striker and the new subclass of Sentinel. Check out the ship. The ship. This, this ship is the one uh, that uh, arrives all the time in the tower and the single one. It's the same mode. That's cool. So, uh, you get the Striker and you get the, uh, the Sentinel. It's the new subclass. It looks like Captain America. It's pretty badass. And um, for the exotic, you, the first exotic you get in this uh, homecoming mission is this one. Uh, in my opinion, it's, it's pretty sick. It's like some uh, minigun. It says sweet business. It's lagger magazine and precious one firing from the hip. Polygonal firing says barrel optimized, optimized for recoil reduction and increased stability. High caliber round, business time, that is holding down the trigger, boost this weapon range and rate of fire. Uh, the uh, composite stock is open have versatile dual purpose stock. Slide increased stability and slide increased handling speed. It looks heavy but it is actually not. You guys you can shoot uh, 300 rounds per minute, it has 99 round magazines, it's pretty sick. It's one of my favorite guns so far in the Fort Crucible. Uh, the primary is you get a pulse rifle, the nightshade. Uh, we already saw that, I think, in the, uh, this one in the, uh, with the Warlock. And you get the uh, Scout Rifle, does not compute. This is the Scout Rifle you get with the Titan. It has steady rounds, defend mag, and moving targets. It's increased moving speed, the starting position. When we while aiming down sights. So uh, this is a uh, scar rifle with a pretty high impact. I like it. Uh, for uh, energy weapons, you get um, a submachine gun. It's a regular submachine gun. It's a pretty low impact and uh, pretty high handling and middle stability. It has uh, dynamic soil reduction. I don't feel any of these. I mean, uh, when I try to kill people with this, it's like it just like. Uh, kicks a lot. Well, it's not the gun for me. I tr I really tried. And um, this is a, an auto auto rifle, and this one is a energy weapon. And it has accurate rounds, steady rounds, and dynamic fire reduction. These are uh, for mods. You get you can put a uh, solar damage mode on each one of these guns. You can do anything with this yet. They're just there. You can do anything. And uh, some machine gun. We already went through that. And hand cannon, a minute 42. This uh, throws hand cannon. It is pretty cool actually. It has a lot of range, a lot of impact. It has an opening shot, improved accuracy range in the opening shot of attack. Drop mag and magazine drops and reload, wasting ammunition, but really increasing reload speed. And for my one, for my world, sorry, increase reload speed. And you can crossfire to a side and steady hand. And mod is solar damage. So I don't know if you can put uh, that kind of those kind of modes on this and making a making, I don't know, energy. I don't know. So far, you can't. So you get uh, some machine, a rifle, and a hand cannon. This is the, the doctor. It's a pretty um, regular auto rifle. No big deal. Solar damage. 200 attack. Everything's 200 since the beginning. So you don't. It's not like definitely one that you uh, can uh, go from level one to level eight. 
level eight or level six. Uh, I don't remember. So um. Um. So machine gun, the uh, rifle, and hand cannon for the energy weapon. For um, for power weapons, you get uh, this. Uh, again, this can't uh, um, grenade launcher, and you get a uh, shotgun. Shotgun is now a uh, heavy weapon. I don't know about this, but uh, it's not a heavy weapon. You get pen mag, assault mag. It's retro futurist. I can't see any of these guns in uh, in, uh, in other classes. I don't know if they drop. I'm not sure. Just look at drops when do when you do the um the um let's switch to the to the other character. Just look at drops when you uh, switch to um when you complete um crucible uh, matches and when you complete the strikes. But so far, I just got the same array has. So it's not the, like you can get probably the same gun uh, from the Hunter with to another character. I don't know if they're exclusive. It doesn't say anything here, but uh, let's, let's go to it. Um, the Hunter has uh, the Gunslinger and the Outsider. Outsider is the new one. So far, it's, uh, it's better than the other one for what I had the time to play and the chance to play. Um, it has the um, Aglo rifle. This is the Scatalock. I think it's the same one from the Warlock. I don't remember. The Showrunner. This is a submachine gun again. With uh, a lot of handling, but I don't feel it, to be honest. Had to play more with this. And uh, you get Bear Devils and Cannon. Uh, I don't remember this one in the other characters. It has pretty high impact, middle range. I feel more range in the hand cannons than the Destiny 1 in the last update. So, probably this is the way to go if you wanna play uh, range games. If you wanna play close quarters, probably get stick to your sidearm or uh, I'm not sure. Uh, our rifles. And um, that's all you get with the Hunter. Uh, with the uh, energy weapons, you get a Scar Rifle. This Scar Rifle, the Black Scorpion 4SR. You get Steady Rounds, you get Tactical Mac. It's a pretty good one. You get the. Um, I don't remember this one. The uh, This one is Full Auto. Uh, I think it's this one. This is Full Auto, yeah. It was really good. And uh, you get a sidearm, the Arkin 3 is one, you get Batman pistols, I don't know what the models just look like that. And um, sorry, what is this? Uh, um, Outlaw, precision kills decrease, increase, decrease reload time, and tactical mag against three rounds. Uh, we're familiar, we're all familiar with this. This is all our sidearm. Get some machine gun again, the red mamba. You can check it out. It looks like, from, to me, it looks like a fusion rifle, but it's not. This is some machine gun, another sub machine gun. You can see the impact in the range below. And the sunshot. This is a, a, so far the best hand cannon in the game, now, in my opinion. It's an exotic one, of course. It has a solar attack. Look at that impact. Look at the range. Get it steadily handling for speed. Eight rounds, one fifty per minute. He has some burns. Weapon fires explode rounds, fires explosive rounds, and highlight stars that take damage from sunshot. Think about the uh, the night stalker thing, uh, the tracker when you hit an opponent. Um, when you see them, you hit them. And uh, chamber compensators, solve barrel attachment, increase ability, improve, improve recoil direction, as light decrease hand and speed, and uh, cures rounds. Some blast target kill with the sunshots blow in solar energy. This one is pretty cool. I haven't seen any firefly. I think this gun to replace firefly. I don't know. And texture grip the friction on this weapon is great, particularly strong, and it's good hand and speed and a slightly decreased stability. It's a pretty sick weapon, probably the best uh, exotic in the beta. 
and for heavies you get uh, this uh, grenade launcher and uh, the infamous uh, sniper rifle, the only one in the, in the beta so far for me. Uh, yeah, it's a heavy weapon, you don't get to play uh, like in uh, Destiny 1 with your sniper or if you're used to the icebreaker and hand cannon combo, you're gonna try to uh, find something else not working the same way anymore. Uh, I tried this, it's really good. Look at that impact, look at that range. Look at that um, stability. It's just really fast. But uh, again, it's just a heavy weapon, so you you'll eventually get uh, ammunition. If you die, you lose it, so you get uh, like four rounds every time you grab a, um, power ammunition and not have any more. It's power ammunition. So um, that's it. You get uh, one piece of armor. Uh, I have two more here because um, uh, I played uh, some Crucible matches and uh, I played the Strike and you get one of these. Uh, you can check them out. This is regular uh, cloak and this one uh, but what you get when you dismantle uh, I haven't dismantled armor yet probably get nothing yeah nothing lock guns I got this one and then got it again I mean it's you get exactly what what you already have in every um character and you dismantle you get nothing so that's it that's all to get with the with the hunter this is the ship of the hunter and this is the emblem. Well, uh, if, you had this, if you found this useful, please leave a like and leave a comment of what you expect from this uh, beta, what you expect for the full game. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna. I have some. I still have some codes to. Uh, uh, some spare codes to. Uh, I wanna give away. So I'm gonna uh, go right now to the crucible, and uh, I'm gonna probably gonna give some codes. And I'm gonna go live now and give away some codes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. They're walking out.